Possible high in the mid 40s. All right. Well, you know what? It is January the 4th, 2024. And happy birthday, Jesse. Happy birthday, Jesse. Yay! How old is she? Nine. Wow. Nine. I know. I know. That's crazy. We called her. We've been texting. She's up. I said, maybe right before you go, you know, to school, we can call you around 740. So we'll see. Well, well, she's getting ready. She just okay. Got she's up. getting ready right now. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say let's call her right now. You, I mean, we can. You want to call her right now? It's we might as well call her right now, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Because seven forty will be in the middle of question of the day, so okay. we might as well call her all right, right now. All right. All right. That's her phone number. Uh, okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> so tell me about uh, like what she woke okay, up to this so morning. This morning she woke up to a huge Taylor Swift banner set up like on a photo backdrop has some balloons on there a number nine balloon we have a guitar set up a pink guitar set up we have happy birthday glasses we have a chair set up with a taylor swift blanket we have a birthday christmas tree wow all of her gifts are set up and it's just ready to go we're ready we are swifties and we are ready <laughs> it's jessica's daughter turning nine a taylor swift party Will she answer if she just sees this know. number? I know that she's getting ready. Okay. So she may have her phone, you know, I'm in sorry. Her the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail. All right. There you go. Well, we'll try again. All right. We'll try again. But happy birthday, Jesse. Yes. So, so this is a big deal. Yeah. And you guys are doing dinner tonight, you said? We're going to do dinner tonight at Tokyo. It's a theme party because she is a Swifty. So we all have to get dressed up. Something related to Taylor Swift, one of her albums. And you guys are dressed Taylor's favorite color, Travis Kelsey, anything Taylor like you, Swift related. Like you are actually dressed. Yes. I have, on, <laughs> I have I'm going to be wearing a long dress that oh. she picked out. And I have my heels ready to go. I'll get my jewelry ready. She has a dress that we ordered. And um, Chadwick has an outfit. Jesse, Jimmy, Kayla, everybody. The baby, wow. we're all getting decked out. You guys are something else. I'll just put it that yes, way. I don't know how yes. to describe it, but something else. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> well, happy birthday. I hope she has a good oh, birthday. Oh, she just text. She put a heart. Hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> and now I know she has her phone. <laughs> Yeah, tell, can she call back real quick uh, yeah, so we can get her on? Because I got it right now. All right, here we go. Just get her on the air real quick. Wish her happy birthday. Yeah, you know she loves talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know she loves calling and talking to Bill. All right, here we go. We we do have a couple stories that I want to uh, get into coming up in a sec, but I want to get this. She I calling? Know, she's calling right now. Okay. Here we go. Get ready. <laughs> Waiting for her to call in. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Still waiting for her to call in. <laughs> oh, no, here she is. Hello, good morning, okay. Power 1017. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday to, to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Hey. Hi, Happy Jesse. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday. Do you feel you're older? Yes. Yes. You yes. do. Do you feel like you grew a little bit? Are you taller? I mean, from my height looking down, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, are you ready for your birthday dinner tonight? Yes. What did you wake up to this morning? I woke up to like walk. I just like woke up walking to my living room. All of a sudden, I see like all this Taylor Swift stuff. Wow, that's awesome! That's and then awesome. My elf came back. Oh, like oh my gosh! My like the elf on the shelf, your elf. Wow. For your special yep. day. It's what? So exciting. <laughs> good, good. Well, look, we just wanted to call and wish you a happy birthday, and you know, hope you have a great day, and uh, you know, have a good day at school too. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Bye. I love you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> there she goes, the birthday see? girl.
couple trending stories that I wanted to get into. This is a crazy story. The videos circulating on social media, Jess. Um, this is wild. The uh, tape that I actually got is from Court TV. Um, it's uh, Delone Redden jumping over the bench mm -hmm. at a court hearing and violently attacking Judge Mary Kay Halthus. And this is during his sentencing. I can't play the entire thing, but you can kind of hear, like, as the judge is talking, him, like, jump over. And then I got to cut it off because there's a lot of cursing. But check this out right here. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he get a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court... Oh, 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 oh. All right, so there you go. That You heard that. I got to cut that off because there's a lot lot of cursing on there. Wow. Um, he jumps over the bench. Never seen anything like that before. When you first showed me the video, I'm like, is this real? This did not really happen. So yeah. what you got yeah, uh, really the story, what, what was that about? Yeah, so she was attacked. Um, he was actually there for felony battery. Mm. And he leaped over a defense table and the judge's bench. That's crazy. Landing on top of her. And then it sparked this bloody brawl. Involving court officials, the attorneys. It was a violent scene. It was all captured on the courtroom video. The courtroom marshal was also injured as he came to the judge's aid. He was hospitalized for treatment of a bleeding gash on his forehead and also a dislocated shoulder. He's 30 years old. He was wrestled to the floor, um, but... Jail officers, courtroom staff members, they were all seen throwing punches just trying to stop this attack. But he was arrested and jailed at the Clark County Detention Center. The records do show that he faces multiple new felony charges now, including battery on a mm. protected person. But everybody is saying that it happened so fast, it was just like hard to know what to do. Yeah. And they kind of like panicked. Um, he apparently, you know, it was alleged that he attacked a person with a baseball bat. That's why he was in court. To begin with, the defense attorney did not respond to any telephone calls, emails. You know, they're trying to get comments back. But the guy was saying, like, I'm not a rebellious person. And he was very upset. He told the judge that he doesn't think that he should be sent to prison. But if it's appropriate for you and you think that this is what you have to do, then you have to do what you have to do. But then the judge made it clear that she did intend to put him behind bars. And that's when he lost it. Wow. Yeah, it were about to put the cuffs on him, and then all of a sudden he jumps over the table, gets his hands on her, attacks her, throws her down on the floor. Um, but just a wild situation there that happened in court. I've never seen anything. No, like I mean, you know, we've never seen anything like that before. That, that, it's just um, the video is unbelievable. It's just crazy. I'll have to share it up on the Power Facebook page. Uh, I mean, and it, it the does Bill and Jessica happen page. so fast that it. You're looking at it, you're like, what? This didn't just happen. It's like fake, but it really did happen. I know. He I jumps know. over the defense table and the judge's bench, and he lands on top of her. Crazy. That's Crazy. wild. And also, Pat McAfee apologized for what Aaron Rodgers said about Jimmy Kimmel on his show. Gosh, what did he say? Well, here goes the story from WGN News. 552, and welcome back. Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel is calling out NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers for comments that the former Packer made yesterday. Those comments are tied to the so-called Epstein list. It's a list of 150 associates of sex offender Jeffrey Epstein that's supposed to be revealed soon. Rodgers was interviewed on the Pat McAfee show yesterday when the list was brought up. That's when Rodgers said there's a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, really hoping that it doesn't come out. Rogers appeared to be retaliating for the times that Kimmel made fun of him during the COVID pandemic and other times. Kimmel was not happy with the accusation and responded on social media saying, Dear Expletive, for the record, I've not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein. Nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft-brained wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up and we'll debate the facts further in court. All right, so there you go. That was um, the story. And then Pat McAfee went on a show and basically, you know, apologized and said that sometimes, you know, things are said 
and you know he just wants to kind of keep the peace. He says, "quote Hopefully, those two will just be able to settle this through talking and not in court." You know, so so Pat McAfee really just doesn't want anything to do no, with he it. He doesn't, you know, with that no. kind of stuff. But Aaron Rodgers shouldn't have said that. No, I mean we talked about that yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. It's wrong. Like, like you're it's wrong to do that. And it's not like a lighthearted, like, diss no. or comment. What's or funny? Like, you're What's the joke. Like, you're inserting someone's name that's related to, like, you're relating him to pedophiles. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's not mm-hmm. even all the accusations. Yeah. The celebrity list. Who's been there? Like, you didn't actually you know. say it, but you're like, that's not. It's just Jeffrey crazy. Jeffrey Epstein and who he was involved with and what they were doing there on the island. And a lot of that stuff with the Jeffrey Epstein stuff, yes, he you know got arrested and he's in court and all this. But a lot of that, a lot of the, the let me try to say this the right way. A lot of the rhetoric surrounding Jeffrey Epstein mm-hmm. with involvement with other people is conspiracies. Right. Yes. So, I'll just put it out like Mm -hmm. that. Now, supposedly, this is a story that's floating around. There was, they said it wasn't, the the list wasn't going to be revealed until January 22nd. But apparently, something got released yesterday. The first part of the list. And what is this? What is this whole thing? The list. It's going to be revealed. Who released it? Who? Is somebody like standing there waiting for a big countdown? Right. Like who? Like what, what are you talking about? What is this list? Who's releasing it? Why are they releasing it? What? Like what? Oh a list? Mm. This well, is yesterday. This is yeah, like, that again. story that we were reading online said, you know, court documents will be opened up. Yeah. What do you and mean? Everything. All the names will be released. The list. What? So someone. So anyway, the story. It says the first Jeffrey Epstein documents were released yesterday. What are they doing it in like increments? No, they're not. Like teases? No. Yeah, the crazy wackos so that you made keep, it up. You keep coming back for more. <laughs> Apparently, it says Bill Clinton and Donald Trump were mentioned. Oh, you, jeez. But mm. this is the fact part. There's nothing incriminating them. Oh. So if there's nothing incriminating them, what's the so-called what list? What are their names? It's all fake. So just being thrown out there for all this rhetoric. Okay. So Uh, don't believe the hype. mm. But Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee don't want nothing to do with it. All right. Yeah. (laughs) Let's wrap this up. Yeah. He's on ESPN now. (laughs) We don't have time for this. So. Hey, up next, we have your shot to spin to win the Bill and Jessica prize wheel. It's so back Thursday. We'll do it right after by request for 668. Checking in on the text. Pete Rock, CL Smooth. They reminisce. Right here on the hot.